This is Mr. Merkel, and this week your assignment is to learn the basics of a program called Strata Sculpt 3D. I am not concerned at the results. I just want you to learn how to use it this week. So I'm going to talk to you about the, uh, the options that I want you to practice. Over on the right, you'll see there's something called Tools. We begin with a brush. So Strata Sculpt 3D is a 3D sculpting tool. It's a digital program, and it's like adding clay. We begin with this sphere, and if you click and drag, you can see how it builds up clay on top of that sphere's surface. The more you drag, the more clay goes on. You can adjust the size of the clay, the amount of the clay, by changing the radius. So bigger radius means more clay, bigger area. Not really more clay, but bigger area that the clay goes on. Intensity would be more clay, like more intense, more clay. Less intense, less of a change. So that's the brush tool. Notice how there are two spots that kind of when I go to the left the other dot goes to the right when I go to the right the dot goes to the left that's because symmetry is on if I click that off then it's just one spot where there's changes happening so I'm going to put my symmetry back on next tool brush inflate so inflate makes change my radius inflate basically just grows an area it's like inflating a balloon so you can see the balloon is growing right there um, you can also, I should go back here, if you look at that circle, see how it changes to an oval? That's because it's right now where that point is, is kind of on the side of the head. So if I grow this, whoops, there we go, grow that, I'm clicking and dragging and that's growing it off to the side. Here's a side view. Hey, so if you click over here and move, it will move your figure. If you want it back into the center again, click on camera. Actually, just hover on camera and reset. All right, so that's inflate. Twist. So click and move, and you can see it is twisting the clay. And you can multiple twist. You can twist the opposite way. You can rotate your guy and twist. Now I say guy, you don't have to make a figure. This could be just about anything right now. I tend to like to make figures, heads or faces. You can make anything you want with this program. We're just learning the basics of it. So that's twist. Smooth, as you'd expect. I see in this area it looks kind of choppy, so I'm going to work with smooth. And I'm going to make my radius a little bit bigger, click and drag, and it smooths it out. There we go. Next one, flatten. I'm going to turn this guy to the side here. I still have the symmetry on, so that means what I do to this side will affect the opposite side. So with my flatten, I'm going to, let's say, go in this spot, click, and kind of swirl it, and you can see how it flattened that figure. There we go. I'm going to flatten his nose too. I'm going to go take symmetry off and just flatten the nose. Flatten. No. Flatten. Yep. Oh my goodness. There's flattened. He got flattened. All right. We're going to switch, switch, over, uh, switch over to crease. And for crease, it's like putting in fine lines. Oops. Come on. Symmetry back on. There we go. Let's do this again. There we go. So I can use this for detailing. Put some wrinkles in. There we go. And like that. I'm going to go back and smooth that out a little bit in here. Whoops. Now my intensity is up pretty high, so it kind of obliterates things when I do these different dealies. Drag. Click on an area. I'll try that spot up there. And drag. Alright, that's drag. Paint. I'm going to come back to that one. 
Um, masking is interesting. So if you mask, what's happening is you are painting out the area that you don't want stuff to happen. Um, so it's like preserving. I'm preserving this area out here. That's gray. And now if I go to, let's say, move, I'm going to skip move. Now I'm going to come back and move. I'll show you, see if it shows frozen the side. Hit the center of this guy. Now I'm going to click and I'm going to move. You can see just that nose moves around and nothing else. Watch if I go control click. Control click. Control click. There we go. Out here. Control click. Now when I do move, there we go. The gray area stays and the rest of the face is moving now. So there, and that, and then if I want to get rid of the mask, I just click on clear. That gets rid of the mask. Paint, as you expect. Your color's down here, and you can start painting. You can change the color. You can mess around with these different sliders. And if you want to start over, scene, clear scene, you can add a sphere, or you can add a cube, or you can add a cylinder, and so on. So today, this week, it's about learning some of those basic tools. This program is really cool, the stuff it can do, but we just want to start with the basic steps. Have fun.